really loose and gestural all over. And then I start to develop whatever is going to be the focal point. So in that, this case, it's right here. I'll start to set my value ranges so the sky overall as a mass is lighter than what's going on down here. And then this will also fall into place between those two. Now that I've got the overall stuff worked out, you can see some little darker places. I'm, I'm working on how dark do I need to go in the darker range in contrast to the lights that I'm starting to bring up. So I'm uh, what you call keying the piece. Now that it's falling into the range that I know it needs to be in, I will actually be able to put a lot more detail into some of the areas that will read because I'll keep the value in the range that it needs to be to read properly overall. But I'll be able to lay in a lot of really subtle texture in here that will give the piece a richness overall, and kind of the support to hopefully what is first going to grab your eye. stage of the drawing. I've made a lot of the important decisions early on. I kind of learned to make sure I do that, make the important decisions about the overall scale. And once I have certainty in that, it gets more meditative, it gets slower. I love Ilya Repin, I love Antonio Lopez Garcia, Sean Cheatham, Brad Kunkel, Michael Grimaldi I think is extraordinarily profound with his drawings, big fan of Jeremy Lipking. time to lay another path of value down here, thinking a lot about the space, seeing how much I can do with how little. It's very calm, it's a very peaceful part. More energy in the beginning. I start with energy and kind of get more relaxed and more peaceful as I go. Mm -hmm. 